Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do conditionals. What are conditionals? Well, it's when I go through a form and I want to show and hide things depending on other answers. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now I've got this form, this website quote form, and um, it's a gravity form, so I'm going to fill this out, click next here, enter my quantity of my web pages. This is the one we worked on before. And what I've now added though is after I do my Yoast and MailChimp, etc., I get to e commerce. Now, I've got a payment gateway and if you need subscriptions, but the thing is, if I'm saying no thanks to WooCommerce, well, why would I need to ask those questions? So, we can do conditionals to hide them. So, let's go into the form and I go down to the page that has these particular items in it. And here we have what payment gateway. So, I open that up, click on advanced and then say, I want conditional logic. And I only want to show this field if e-commerce is WooCommerce. Okay, that's for the payment gateway. Now I can actually say any. So if I want to do two, I can click on a plus and say if e-commerce is payment form as well. Or I could actually do is not. So if is not, no thanks, then show it. Okay, so there's these different logic tools here. So now the payment gateway is not going to be asked, but the thing is for subscriptions, um, I need to do the same thing. Okay, so I need to then say a conditional logic and we'd say when e-commerce is not no thanks, then we show this item. And that's pretty much it. So I click update. That's updating the form. I've got the conditional logic in there. Now, let me refresh on this side as well. Click continue, just like that. Okay, so I'll fill this out again. Matt, email, phone number, just like that. Click next, uh, web pages, like that. Next, now we're at the conditional logic and we can see those questions uh, are gone when I get to that conditional logic area around the e-commerce. See how the other questions aren't there? Now, if I select payment form, they appear. What payment gateway do you need? Do you need subscriptions? Say no thanks, they disappear. This is conditional logic. Okay, now that's great. Now, you'll notice before that we're using the previous next submit, etc. You can also put conditional logic in your pages. Okay, so if I go to my pages here and click on the down arrow there, you can actually go to the advanced tab and say enable next conditional logic or page logic. All right, so you only show a page. So for example, I could decide to ask some questions up front. Do you want e-commerce? Do you want um, different types of things? And then show the pages to configure those items later on down the track to say, okay, we're configuring your SEO, we're configuring these different things because you wanted those features. Okay guys, that's it for me today. I'll load up the very last one in the series tomorrow, our next item on Gravity Forms tutorials. And I hope you're getting a lot out of this. Let me know in the comments. Like it, subs, whatever it is you feel to do. Share it with people, do something with it. Share the love, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.